what they're anyway. Anywho, we are back on the Mana Symbol channel. The wonderful JK Torborg was inspired by the Teamer Kazmina and Bant Kazmina Super Friends decks that I played before and uh, went off and did his own thing here. This is pretty uh, wild. So, I mean, I think against the odds, Doubling Season might be appropriate for this deck. So for anyone who's not aware of this card, Doubling Season says four and a G, four and a green. If an effect would create one or more tokens on your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. And if an effect would put one or more counters on a permanent you control, it puts twice that many of those counters on that permanent instead. So, um, besides the fact that your opponent's Infect counters and Soul Scar mages are going to be pulling double duty, what else does this mean for you? Well, um, you can mostly exploit this with Planeswalkers. That's the biggest uh, thing to do. So, turns out the way the rules work with doubling season, um, when a Planeswalker enters the battlefield, it is considered an effect that um creates it uh and that means that when your planeswalker comes into play like jace cut and castaway it will immediately have doubling season doesn't double poison counters no uh i i, I meant on your creatures because that's not dealing it to you but i of course didn't specify enough and of course you caught it and we're persnickety um the the wither side of things does in fact uh, double up yeah but but if you get hit with a infect creature you won't uh, receive double the poison counters because you're not a permanent you control um so you can play jace cunning castaway for three mana and immediately you will have six loyalty which means you can minus um five him to create two tokens that are a copy of jace cunning castaway except they're not legendary those will also come into play with six loyalty then you can make Two more copies. Wait, no, four more copies. Wait, oh my god, ex exponential growth. Um, in theory, we could just kind of crash Moto doing this very quickly. Um, but suffice to say that we can create an infinite number of 2-2 two -two blue illusion uh, creature tokens with when this creature becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. Um, also, when we attack with them, we'll be able to draw our entire library and then discard that many cards. Not that we want to do that, but we certainly could. Um, also, a Chandra Torch of Defiance, if played after doubling season, will immediately be able to ult and give us her incredibly powerful emblem. And Kazmina Enigma Sage is one of the most interesting interactions with this because even if we don't play her or other Planeswalkers after doubling season, what we can do is have them in play first play the doubling season and she gives each planeswalker we control a minus x ability um which um which means that you will get uh two fractals with x uh two x uh size in 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 plus one plus one counters so if you minus kazmina by one you get two two twos if you minus kazmina or another planeswalker by two you get two four fours um, to six sixes, to eight eights, etc. Um, so uh, we also have Ren Six in here, just a generically good planeswalker. We can play lower on the curve. Um, we're playing Bone Crusher Giants and Brazen Borrower as interaction. Why is that? Well, um, Kazmina, it turns out, actually does have a quote ultimate ability. Uh, it's a minus eight. Um, which says, search your library for an instant or sorcery card that shares a color with this Planeswalker, exile that card, then shuffle. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Now, it's a bit interesting bit of construction here from J.K. Torborg, which I will definitely ask about at some point, which is that Kazmina is the only card in your deck that can do this, but if Kazmina minus eights, you can cast Primal Surge. Primal Surge exiles the top card of your library. If it's a permanent card, you can put it onto the battlefield, and if you do, you repeat this process. So, what does that mean? That means we put our entire library into play, including our one copy of Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, and win the game on the spot. Oh, Ren and Six can as well. Correct. Um, so there's just no card for Jace, Cunning Castaway, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, or Chandra to get. However, if there's a doubling season in play, Jace is instantaneously infinite power and toughness in creatures. And if there's a doubling season in play, uh, Jace immediately comes in and can minus eight. Um, you don't win the game on the spot but you do draw seven so that's 
pretty damn good. Um, it, it'll be interesting to note that um, we could, in theory, cast a Primal Surge without the Jace Wielder of Mysteries available, although we do need to find something to do that... Uh, like, we need to stop at a certain point once we put enough value into play and uh, just win the game over the next couple turns. Um, so that won't win every matchup, but it certainly can. Um, so yeah, Ren, sorry, Ren and Six and Kazmina both have the option to cast the Primal Surge, which will win the game uh, essentially on the spot uh, because we will uh, exile an entire, entire library and then plus Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Um, unless Primal Surge just stops working, which I believe is something that can happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, so everything's a permanent for that reason. Our sideboard is all permanents. Threads of Disloyalty, good against um, Scourge and Skyclaves and Death Shadow decks sort of in general. Um, oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Primal Surge, if we have lost our Jace Wielder of Mysteries, at some point we're going to hit uh, Doubling Seasons, Chandra's, Jace's, Kazmina's, and Renin Six, and we'll have more than infinite like, we're just going to have a ludicrously huge amount of damage uh, on the battlefield. So unless our opponent has specifically some kind of wrath or they can win the game the next turn, uh, then we're all set. Uh, as I said, our sideboard is all permanent so that we don't mess with the Primal Surge post-board. So let's just go get them. Let's go get them. Arr! Arr! And Roy, I apologize about not being uh, as accurate as I could have been about the description of how Infect works with both doubling season, etc. But it is funny that like Soul Scar Mage, which is a commonly played card, if our opponent hits something with their Soul Scar Mage, doubling season's going to double the counters. So like Lightning Bolt puts minus six, minus six on a creature. However, if our opponent hits us with um, one of the hunted creatures from uh, Ravnica, um, we'll get twice as many counters off of it. Well, the truth of the matter, JK, is that um, Soulscar is um, not um, <laughs> not. It's it. The fact that it's doubling damage isn't going to be a big deal against this deck. Most of our creatures are either, either tiny or fractals. I'll keep this on the... I wanted to keep that. I clicked past it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll keep this on the play. No, I won't. We'll go to five. Uh, Yeah. I mean, we'll keep it just because... If we make it to turn two, we'll be fine. Um, Ren and six is good like that. The big deal against Prowess is going to be that we're dead on turn three. Yeah, pretty much. It's 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 usually a problem for decks. Good. Might be a deck that has force and negation. I'm really hoping not. <laughs> Although. No. Oh, it's Spike's uh, Grixis Loris deck. Oh, it's fine. The bigger problem is the Force of Negation into the Mana Leak. That's the bigger problem. Oh, thank God. Although... <laughs> they're probably going to be able to kill the Renin Six. Um... We're doing this instead. So I have to leave the Sprite Dragon in play. It's not the end of the world because we'll pick up the land, play the Arbor Elf. Um, and then next turn we can Petty Theft the Sprite Dragon, hopefully. So um, taking a lot of damage, unfortunately, but uh, 
If they're going to kill anything here, they're actually kind of incentivized to kill the Arbor Elf because they don't know what we can do with all this mana. Um, we'll see. We'll see what they're actually holding. They haven't found any black mana yet, and they're playing Luris. Okay, there's a Swamp. Expecting to see a Thought Scour? Yep. Yeah, we'll see about that. It looks like there's no burn spell here, though. Which means I get another land off this Renin 6, which is gravy. Boom, Crutcher! Oh, yeah! So, one, two, three, four, five, six total mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I can play Kazmina. Um... The problem is if I play Kazmina, I can't go bounce plus stomp. Yeah, it's uh the the, the aspiring spike uh seven owed the Swiss. I start with Ren. I already started with Ren. Start with Ren. What? What? I just feel like they're likely to do this. Stomp. What are you going to do? Play an instant for black? Yeah, that's right you're not. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Dismember your dragon. We did lose... Wait, what? Is this graveyard real? Oh my god. <laughs> this is screenshot worthy. We're uh we're off to the races here. Two thought scours. Oh, we'll be fine, it's just like <laughs> what they thought scoured me twice. And they hit all three Chandras and Jace. They were just stacked on top. Just, just, just all together. That's what I was expecting last turn, but I guess they didn't have it. Which is fine. Um... EOT Borrow to draw the spell out. I'm just gonna jam Bone Crusher plus Kazmina here. They should have um, Drown or something. Okay. Yes, and? Okay, there it is. That's what I was expecting. Kazmina, Enigma Sage. <laughs> Bone Mina Enigma Shine. <laughs> That's uh, horrifying, Roy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. They're down to two cards. They're going to grab their Luris this turn. I mean, you got some spicy tech against Prowless and Heliod, eh? Hip, hook me up. What do you got? Say what you, what you, what you want. Say what you, what you, what you want. Say, 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 say. Say what you, what, what you want. Sk 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 scra it up. Sudden shock. That's a choice. Um, so we just had a Bone Crusher on top, and I'm definitely leaving that right there. We're going to Brazen Borrower or something on their turn, and then try to stomp Luris. I'm assuming my opponent is not going to be aspiring spike patient um, and uh, 
correctly. Oh my god, they milled me. You're such a jerk, opponent. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Three thought scours. I mean, who even does that? You know? Do you guys know? I know. But I, I don't know if you guys know. Alright, you got. It. You do play Sprite Dragon. Correct. Correct. They're not even trying to touch them, so like they didn't they didn't play any spell from their graveyard, so I'm just gonna try to bounce this and see what happens. I'm assuming they're gonna counter it, which is just fine with me. This is probably force negation. Uh Archmage's charm. Archmage's charm. No permanence in the yard? No, they have Sprite Dragon. They have a good one. Like they have one that I would have I expected them to play it, but they were scared about I don't know, whatever. They definitely milled a bone crusher giant off my deck. I'm just saying. I don't mind that I drew another one. I just um <laughs> I'm I'm just pointing out that uh I did not deserve to draw that. Stamp. <laughs> Did you stack your deck on moto? Same way you stack it in real life, Roy. Just be lucky. <laughs> I got no cards in hand, opponent. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Nothing. Just tap out. It's great. You're going to be awesome. They scoop. You didn't even see what I was going to do. You. Why, you dirty rat? How dare you concede? Why, I order. Six sideboard cards for the matchup? I mean, what are you thinking of this matchup as? Because it's a Luris deck. Like, do you want to play Threads here? Is that what you're saying? Do you want to play Defense Grid? What, which cards you are you saying? Because like we also have Chandra, like everything in our sideboard kind of works. Grid, yeah, I think Grid is enough. Uh, no, they have attacky dudes. Um, I mean, the bigger question is what do I not want? Because like most of the deck seems pretty damn good. Um. I don't think Ashiok is that good. Yeah, the thing is, they're playing Grixis, but I guess they're playing mostly, like, blue and black stuff. Grid over Chandre? Okay, sure, sure. I think, that realistically, this is the only change that I want to make. Although, um, Brazen Borrower is not that good without me being able to play on their turn, assuming that I put... They have a Clock Plus Life game. I guess so. I wouldn't really consider their life having their deck having a life game. Um, keep borrower. Okay. I kind of want like two Chandras. It's not really a Mambo. All right. I kind of want like a couple Chandras. Let's cut a doubling season and like a Jace. Jace makes non flyers, so think it's pretty lackluster. Yeah. I can't believe we won that on a mult of five and they forced my first run in six. We missed our second land drop and we just smushed them. Well, you, you could, if you keep doubling seasons, you could shave down all the way to one Jace. Cut a third Jace for a Relic or something. Yeah, we'll see if, if their graveyard plan looks more relevant in game two. Right, this was the first kind of hand that I almost kept. The opponent mulligans. I'm I'm going to keep this because I think we can resolve a turn two Kazmina. Ashiok. Ashiok being back up Kazmina is half decent. -y. Yeah, I guess so. 
I don't know. It's it. This is a totally unknown deck, right? And we don't like their deck is very like mid range controly, where it's like a complete mishmash of nonsense. Where it's like you can't th like they will have hands that we're not gonna beat with some of our sideboard cards because they're just like kind of mid rangey. Like it's not like playing graveyard hate is great until they go like sprite dragon spell spell spell. Um. And like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's draw, draw Bone Crusher right now. Right now. <laughs> a different term for hey spike seven owed the challenge but i think that has more to do with aspiring spike can't believe they didn't play around bone crusher i mean maybe they did they could have force negation right now like we don't know don't assume jk otherwise um we die spike is not an archetype correct he is great just a good goddamn player. <laughs> but inch. Somehow I don't have a rim shot, but I do have. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do play another spell so you can kill my Kazmina? you wouldn't dare what's up Danielle from Brazil Danielle yes I, it's because I'm used to playing them in real life. I used to do that live. I used to, um, when we were doing the Welcome Aboard show on one of my cruise ships, I would play rim shots when the cruise director on stage made a joke. It was fantastic. And I've had at least one cruise director who loved it when I did it. He he had a great time. Well, this is the first time we're playing Kazmina Surge. So I think they have a Drown in the Lock in their hand. So while I am playing a land that wasn't the land I just had in play, um, yeah, the 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 six drop Chandra is huge. It's called a rim shot. Uh, L L Rodeo Son. That's not actually like what a drummer would call a rim shot, but in like comedic terms, you call that a rim shot. But um, if you um if you like go google or youtube search like rim shot sound effect like that um you'll probably get what you're looking for or like comedy rim shot ee -E on one that's a play yeah exactly it's uh, definitely gonna be fun i kill my ren and six are they going to pop my bird aggressively, or are they going to let it go? They're letting it go. Weird. Um, yeah, probably. I don't know if you will. <laughs> Just don't Google rim job, because that's, <laughs> that's something totally else. It's totally different. <laughs> what are you worried about though roy like who who's gonna look at your computer and be like even if you did look up rim job right like who's gonna look at your computer and be like holy crap i can't believe you this human looked up rim job it's like okay wh why not like i'm interested in life i'm interested in the things that people choose to do to each other
<laughs> mm-hmm. Really? You gonna let me block? I guess they don't know what it can do. They can grab their lurus. Man, they are so scared. And I guess they should be, but. Oop, that's not what I want. You don't think you've ever lost a game of Uncomfortable Chicken? I wouldn't think you would either, Roy. You seem unflappable. Man, we are uh, we are flooding out pretty brutally. I'm digging to literally anything, JK. I mean, I I kept the Bone Crusher because I was like, at least this is a spell. They get go get their Luris, I can kill it before they draw infinite cards with Mistress Bobble and, and proc their Sprite Dragon a million times. What about Arbor Elf? Are you okay with Arbor Elf? Is that was that what you were talking about when you were saying you were okay with doubling season? Because that's what the deck heard. Yeah, I I, I would have thought we would. Oh, 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 stop! Stop! Hammer time! Are giants without reach truly giant? Yeah, they're just slow. It's not that they can't reach the flying creatures, it's that they can't hit the flying creatures. They're just like, eh. It's like trying to hit a fly. The giants are too big. They're attacking the Kesmina. At this point, they need to kill me. They, they, they could have killed me. Yeah, they literally could have killed me. Of course there are walls with reach, Roy, but they're built to reach. They're like sky nets. Yeah, we're just dead. I mean, we flooded out insanely. I think I picked up two lands with Ren and Six that game. We still flooded out insanely. Well, we, we could have killed Luris. I could have. I mean, I well, I could have tried, but I mean, I was dead anyway. Although this was coming up pretty soon, so. Maybe not quite as dead as I thought. All right, let's get this guy, gal in here and torch. I think Wielder of Mysteries could probably get cut here. And another Jace. Yeah, I mean... I don't want to go that low, but I probably should. I should probably go down to two doubling seasons, too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with cutting some of your combo cards. Technically, we won game one without them ever seeing what we were going to do, which was weird. Mm-hmm. It's funny that doubling season plus the um the the big Chandra really isn't worth much. Like that's that's weird to me. Is that weird? It's weird to me. It's weird to me that the big Chandra just has no ultimate. Just like if I get to play her with doubling season, she just like comes in at twelve. <laughs> it's like What? <laughs> you plus her and they get one emblem and she's like, What? What do you want from me? <laughs> I don't do that kind of stuff. Not with dudes. <laughs> I have more devotion. Well, then you could minus 12 her, to be fair. You could kill an Eldrazi. Or something else gigantic. All right, B. You better force this. Roy, she's one of the premier planeswalkers. Well, they're going to have the force negation. This is the pause that means, yeah.
Yeah, I did. I did. We will top deck a second random six. Bang. Nope. Not today. Well, the the mountain like I I'm gonna get um, breeding pool with this if I have to, but if I'm gonna brazen bore with this turn cycle, I don't have to. Like if they just keep their mana open and hit Kazmina for like one or two. Second sprite dragon, that's scary. Don't. Why did we have to hit a tempo deck? Why why was it a tempo deck? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, I should have grabbed the island. Okay. There's only one, but all right, whatever. Guess that's how this is game the game is going. Seems we might be falling behind. Maybe a little bit. I was initially gonna do more, but yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, just making them do more damage. So we're we're close to dead. And I get to kill one of these, but oof. This is just untenable. No, come on. <laughs> we're we're almost a hundred percent dead. This is them grabbing Luris. Oh. <laughs> For the love of... <sighs> yeah. I mean, this is this is theoretically one of the best decks in Modern right now. So, it's not surprising. And it's a really brutal matchup for a deck like this. We're playing light interaction. Yeah, I mean, they, they and they played good games too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, if we had had the second Renin Six, or if they hadn't had the Force Negation one time like that, we would have been fine. But they had Force Negation for turn run one Renin Six twice. Um, on our Molta Five, it was very lucky we had the second one. Oh, yeah. What's up? I I L Ijex? Iljex? Ijex? 24? Yeah, no worries, friend. Well played. It was uh, not super winnable. Um, we got very lucky in game one to have the second run in six, but I couldn't couldn't hold that luck across the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, double sprite dragon plus Mishra's bobble. You're, very few decks are going to be able to beat that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a win condition, right? It's, uh, Enter the Infinite. It's, yeah, Primal Surge. It's, it's Enter the Infinite. I mean, you quit before I played it in game one. I'm playing this for the courting, bruh. 
gr the b you scooped before I could go get it. I didn't get to do the thing. It's a pretty dead game one. Yeah, but you scooped to two planeswalkers on eight that couldn't do anything that you knew of. I'm not criticizing you. Um, I'm just saying that the deck wanted to pop off and we didn't get to. So we're essentially at a mall to six already. So let's mall to six. So that's zero landers. So Heroes of Might and Magic. Yeah. <laughs> Pump the luck skill. All right, we're going to five. Yeah, that's the key. I think I'm going to assume that I'm going to draw one more land. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Glad you knew of my existence. After you crushed me, you can come say hi. Mm. Alright, how many traps, opponent? How many traps? Zero traps! Are we playing Blitz? Well, their 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 screen name says Tree Stem, so maybe. <sighs> I was really hoping that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, smash. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, J.K. That's true. I need lands. I mean, Blitz is Blitz Lion. So if we ever run into Thundercat, we know. We know who it really is. Oh, we just milled the Primal Surge. Why did they have the drown early? Oh, that's such a pain in the ass. All the more to run six it. I mean, I need to draw one first, but yeah, I guess. They go get their Luris, damn it. Double damn it, come on. I uh, uh it's not even worth scrying, like <laughs> uh, Yeah. I just needed to be on the play. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Against the odds, doubling season's working out kind of exactly like I thought it would. Don't worry, we're going to go down, straight down to the O2 bracket. That's where I really shine. That's where I do my best work. I would really like to experience it, JK. I would really like to do that. Oh my god. More! Stop! <laughs> You didn't even m mill anything with your new crab. Why did you play it? Ugh. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, Ancestral Recall. That's fair. Well, yeah, it's burn. Mill, mill is burn. Don't, don't let Blitz tell you any different. Playing mill is playing burn. You're just trying to draw about seven cards that mill approximately three life total in 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 burn 
which for milling is like six. It's like eight. I know Tome Scour does five, but like. Three cards equals one life? Uh, yeah, I guess so. But you start off with 53 cards in your library. Not 60. I mean, I don't want to play everything, but I could play a lot. Yeah, all right. I don't think this is a good way to sideboard, but I think it's a super fun way to sideboard. Yes, I could play Threads of Disloyalty to Shield and Crabs, but I don't I don't want to do that. It's not worth a three mana spell. We we this deck can do better things than that. Or two lands and a ren six. Don't forget two lands and a ren six. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Boom, baby. Uh That's a good draw. Easy turn to Bone Crusher with the tap land, you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean stomp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stomp I was planning on doing. Jace 4 just decimates them. Assuming I can have enough lands to cast it. Yes. But they could just crush me if they have turn one visions. Why are they pausing? Do they have another Archive Trap? No, they have Surgical. I bet you they have Surgical. And I bet you they have no idea. Jaforce? That's not Jaforce. Jaforce is Jace the Mind Sculptor. Although, it would maybe be okay to call this Jaforce because... Um, uh, JTMS is Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, well, I could just draw that, I suppose. No, that that doesn't actually give me more mana. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, put it on blue. Jaforce the three? <laughs> Did you just type Jaforce the three? <laughs> Chalk is held up, Jay. Chalk is currently held up. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. Oh, unless you were commenting from before I, I didn't attack. Then yes. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. I got a delay up here, so it's like chat delay, then my delay, then it's, it's a lot. Woo! All right, down to 26 cards, and we started with a lot. I'm going to play Kazmina this turn, I guess. Yeah, but you have to understand, Shauna, that I've been a boomer my entire... Bo no, 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 Shauna, no. You sit down because I've been a boomer my whole life. So Avril Lavigne's hit song, SK Aider Boy, confused the hell out of me because SK Aider Boy is never sung in the song. So, 
I've been a boomer my whole life. I am constant boomer. They're tapped out right now. I'm playing this, Jays. That was not how to tap for that, but whatever. Yeah. We're, we're slamming Jace because they tapped out and they have counters. Oh, we could do that. No, I never say B00M3R. B-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z
double ancestral? I because they have the good crab too. They 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 have the nuts. This this is them having the nuts. It's disgusting. This is not okay. But on the plus side, um, can attack with my illusion if they try to like just like bump, then um, I get to uh, pick off their crab. If they don't, I get to get rid of this stupid ass primal surge. Yeah, we have two shocks exactly. So let's fetch first to make sure. <laughs> Although they may have drawn another. Um, Archive trap, but whatever. Loot to four CMC Jace. Have we lost the four CMC Jace yet? We did. We lost the Jace already, dude. There's no there's no looting to Jace. Uh I'll put that on the bottom. I mean, you couldn't have known that, but we're already at 25 cards. They have six cards in hand. Like, we're probably dead. But they had the absolute nuts. They had double archive trap, double visions. Like, you just, you're not going to beat that. Again, it's it's burn with the double goblin guide. Sometimes you're just going to die. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 cards. Okay. I should have done this first. Because I don't know if this gets me an untapped land at all. I'm guessing it... Yeah, it doesn't. Oh my god! There's so few freaking cards! I'm not mad. You're mad. And I'm milling myself by two right now, by the way. Stomping on crabs is animal abuse? This is human abuse. This is so much worse. My opponent is committing human abuse. It's much worse. Wait, one or more? Oh, this, this card is bad. Yeah, in theory, we can create infinite Jaces, JK. Yeah, but it takes too many turns now. Like, I mean, it's possible. I'm going to go for it. I'm not not going for it. It's not going to be fast enough, but I'm going to try. If they don't have a counter literally this turn, I'm putting infinite power and toughness into play. So, first things first, go to combat. They're on a two turn clock already? Don't tell them. Don't tell the viewers, Roy. I want to do something spectacular. How did you ruin this for me? Let it resolve. Do it! Wait, I can't go off this turn. No, 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 I thought I could go off this turn. It, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for, I forgot that it wasn't... Uh, I thought I thought his minus was a lot less than it is. But it would have been next turn. But there's lethal on deck. I mean, they need to do something, and I have a Brazen Borer. Oh, no. How much is this milling? 10 or 13? Surgical. <laughs> they took the Jace. <laughs> they took the one of Jace. Oh, you got me good, opponent. Good two mana spell. Please tell me they play like a damping sphere and they're like, go. Ah, I hope this is good enough over two turns. <laughs> if we win this freaking game. If we win this game, dude. <laughs> My hand is so garbage. <laughs> oh, against the Roy deck? The classic Roy deck? <laughs> Play a crap. <laughs> Blood Chief Stars. Okay, that keeps them in it for at least one more turn.
So I'm assuming at this point they just have a mill 10. Uh, but I'm going to attack for four. We have Petty Theft, Petty Theft, or Petty Theft into Brazen Borrower. It's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'll make a token. Yeah. They only have two cards in hand. Maybe they don't have it. Or maybe they have uh, Drown in the Lock plus um, Glimpse, and they just kill me with backup. But did we shuffle since we put the Bone Crusher on the bottom? I don't think so. Okay, they don't need to do this um, if they have an Archive Trap. They might be doing it just as the Wasteland, but... Yeah, but they could have just cast the trap, right? They, they didn't need to do that. They want to trap with backup? Could be. Could be. I mean, no matter what mill spell they have, we're done. They, they, I mean, unless it's the, the bad one. But they could have kicked the bad one. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, they had the nuts, and we almost won it. Uh, I'll be back in one second. We almost got there. Alright. That could almost use an Aether Gust? What? Oh, because of the... Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I think there's a... Yeah, I mean... Oh, it literally can. But, um... Then you're turning off your Primal Surge win. Which is probably not a good idea. Man, this hand really, really sucks, doesn't it? Never put the Triome into the combo deck that needs to draw and tap lands. That is my wisdom. There we go. No companion. Okay, I just... I just have very strong opinions on it. Jiggy Wiggy would tell you it's fine. Um, but I personally feel very strongly about not having them in the deck. Especially a 60 card deck. 80. I'm a little less annoyed about it. Having like one in an 80 that is an aggressive deck is fine-ish. Jeez, they had to be on Tron. Uh, so Ren 6 doesn't matter. 
maybe we could be fast enough, but we have to start drawing completely different cards than what we have right now. I did not put the damping series in the sideboard, so this is going to be a terrible matchup. Might as well scoop all three. Yeah, Ashiok gives us a shot. More or less annoying than fast lands and a deck playing cryptic. Uh, I would say less, because fast lands and a deck playing cryptic at least sort of insulate you against early aggression. Oh, it's Badtron! Oh, thank God! We just might be okay. Bone crushers are actually pretty good in this matchup. Yes, the Super Friends. This group of planeswalkers travels the multiverse trying to save the day. But will they ever be able to? Only time will tell. Well, if they just go Karn, Great Creator, this turn, it's not going to be that good. But Gets me off the top. Let's go! Excuse me, what about doubling season? We got the mana for it right meow. Right meow. Meow. Not the smasher, please. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop tapping. Stop tapping. That nuts here is fine. Pona made me breed so hot I turned into a pregnant woman. Woohoo! <laughs> that's a bingo. Roy, is that how you say that? Th that's a bingo? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mind Stone's a good card. <laughs> So, I don't need to leave a blocker back. <laughs> now, because we off the top. And Shadow is pretty good, I guess. But, uh, next time we want to use the Kazmina off the top, you know? Just saying. Just saying. Boop. Okay, opponent, I need you not to play Eldrazi Temple All's Dust. I really, really need you not to go Eldrazi Temple All's Dust. Okay, that's stage one. No, 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 you know. That card is phenomenal. Oh, well, that's why you play that deck. <laughs> that's why you play the deck, buddy. That's why you play that deck. Um, shouldn't have called it. <laughs> I can't help it, man. I was playing that deck all morning. It's a good deck. I just, uh, uh, let's just play the Bone Crusher. Ta I know, I should have gotten the tap land. I, I thought I was going to be able to stomp plus play the Bone Crusher, but it's because I was playing the bird, and bird doesn't doesn't give me mana on the spot. It, it's, it's a tiny misplay that probably doesn't matter. Like, after that all is dust, I can't. Red, duh? I mean, I have double red already, so okay, they they can't play bridge or like they can play a liquid metal coating, but I don't. Well, Dystron is just sweet, so can't be mad at someone for playing Dystron. Gets Worm Coil. Yikes. We could actually beat Wormcoil fairly easily, but the problem was we just got like eight for one. 
It was actually just like a 4 for 1, but I just don't have any freaking gas. Yeah, that's fine. I don't give a sh. Doof. All right. I mean, I can't leave the Karn in play, but like. God doesn't play dice. But does he play dice tron? Hmm. We should have asked Einstein. <laughs> God plays Primeval Titan next. <laughs> Higher variance. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, I'm, I think I'm just going to plus the Jace here. Because they're probably going to play Worm Coil, which then I can block it with the Paradise. And then... Plus the Jace. So if I draw a doubling season this turn or next turn, we could go off. Blacktron is sweet. I played Blacktron. It was really fun. I think I got a 4-1 on my first go out, but then I was like trying to chase the trophy and it, it was not, not worth. Not worth. But it was fun. I mean, we have a combo kill. No, if I draw a doubling season now, I play it, and I plus Jace to six, which is not nothing. If God, God plays Amulet, doesn't that make Fran the actual Jesus? Ah, uh, no, he'd actually have to be the son of God. I assume. But I don't know. Doubling season doesn't increase Planeswalker pluses. Is that not an effect? What? Are you serious? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that once upon a time, but I've just never seriously actually played with it. Yeah, you're right. It's the cost, not the effect. I can't believe they haven't hit Tron, but not that it matters. Yeah, maybe I should have saved the Jace. I thought I thought it was going to like open... Like, I thought the window was... Ugh, they're going to have the second All's Dust. Yeah. yeah. It didn't matter anyway. They drew double All's Dust, just like I did earlier today. Well, this is at least a kind of interesting matchup. Uh, I think we just bring in these. And then I can cut that. Like one Bone Crusher, one Chase. Eh. No, I need this in case they have a bridge up. Switch to all colorless planeswalkers. I mean, um, no, it's an it's. What I mean, I get to do stuff, Shauna, and like all his dust is a pretty unique effect. So they don't have that many cards that do what they did there. Jeez. Really? Come on. We have like 10 pieces of acceleration. All right. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, they already did, Roy. Scion of Urza is pretty shitty. It was legacy playable for a little while, which is, I guess, somewhat of an accomplishment. Yeah, ter listen, it's not that turn one triome can't be relevant. It's that, did I need the turn one triome? No, not at all. Like, at all, at all. There, there was no, I didn't need the turn one triome. 
And on the flip side, sometimes when you draw the triome, it's horrifyingly bad. You're like, oh, well, <laughs> can't cycle that for any good, and uh, I needed an untap land, and or, like sometimes you have an opener with a triome and like a bunch of one drops. Seriously? All right, well, take the Chandra, I guess. Jesus. Ugh. They took the borrower, so that means they have some kind of removal in their hand, I think. Um, which is fine. Yeah. Yeah, we did, but I mean... To be fair, this whole match feels like a stay of execution because I thought we were against Greentron. And Greentron would have crushed us without any any resistance. The fact all his dust can be cast off of Temple is BS. I mean, it is, but it's also awesome. I, I'm never going to get over how awesome that is. I love tribal spells. I love the tribal type. I'm annoyed it's not a super type. I find that incredibly annoying. I don't think there's any sense in tribal being a type and not being a super type. And they're like, yeah, because only only types can grant subtypes. And it's like, well, why, though? Do Eldrazi really need help? Well, you, I mean, you, are you, are you remembering when these cards were printed? Because, like, Temple is the, Temple is the culprit. And, like, they could have set, made it say colorless Eldrazi creatures. But that's not normally the way they write cards. No, I of Ugin wasn't nuts when they came out. It took a little while. I of Ugin had to be paired up with the Battle for Zendikar Eldrazi. That was Eldrazi Winter. If, if I'm remembering correctly I, I believe someone 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 correct me if i'm wrong but the battle for zendikar eldrazi with the colorless mana costs plus um the enablers from original zendikar block because the enablers in original zendikar block were all enabling things that cost like 12 mana no can't play that well they didn't have a smasher this turn. They're going to map for what, I wonder? Oh, another temple and then play all his dust? I wonder if they're playing like four all his dust. Or if they just got lucky again. They got a wastes? They got a wastes. Why did you get a wastes? Because they already had it. Jesus flip. Are you serious? Goodness gracious. Yeah. All right. Well. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. They are serious, yeah. And I mean, we can't play um, Ceremonious Rejection, so. <laughs> so... Let's look at this. I don't want to face Jund. I do not want to face Jund. We're not going to get to play anything. I mean, we haven't gotten to play much against most of these decks, but... Um, um, I don't want to face Jund. We don't have Veil of Summer. We have nothing. We have nothing against Jund. Like, I guess we just have, like, thick Planeswalkers out of the board, but... I'm just trying to compare your list to my list. Try to figure out what made mine seem so much better. The 
I, like part of it was definitely the matchup spread. Threads of disloyalty strong. All right, I I will not miss it. Do you mean Jun Shadow or do you mean Jund? Because you said Jund, but maybe you mean Jun Shadow. This pioneer deck. It looks like one. Unfortunately, doubling season isn't legal in that format. But Oath of Teferi is. Oath of Teferi definitely is. Jun Shadow. Okay, yeah, yeah. Jun Shadow threads of disloyalty is phenomenal. I, I don't know if I can keep this hand. There you go. I don't think the time wars were what would do it in this deck. I don't. <clears throat> I don't know if you're thinking about time warp the right way. Oh my god, the bus combo is awesome. Well, that that's more of a historic deck, right? Um, so, Roy, there's a card from the second... Ravnica Allegiances? It's an Orzhov-themed card. It's a white card. And when it comes into play, you can jump your creatures onto it. And I think... I think it gets some kind of bonuses, and it has Vigilance. And then if it leaves play, your creatures all pop out. And there were combo decks where you could have everything leaving and entering. Like, um, Hostage Taker could exile it. And then it could exile the Hostage Taker. It would just go around in a loop. I mean, they... They didn't attack there, so no, it's not Battlehorn. No, it's not. Wait, what? No. Oh, it has horns in the art, but do, does it have horns in the name? Is that what you're after? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to make them waste some damage here. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I, I could find it very quickly. Oh, my opponent is tanking. Set uh, GRN? No. Uh, RAL? It can't be RAL. Mutagenic Growth is a huge amount of damage that they just missed out on. You scry flaw. Oh, for why does Scryfall need me to have the set code? Nobody cares about the set code. Uh, advanced search. Uh, sets. RNA. Oh, that's right. It's ribonucleic acid. Which makes no goddamn sense, by the way. It's Ravnica Allegiance. Well, let's make it RNA. What? What? Why? Lumbering Battlement. The card is Lumbering Battlement. There we go. Roy, of course, already found it. But that's not the point, damn it. The point is, I found it first, or... Or, well, I didn't. That's also not the point. The point is... Well, I forget. Kids, I want to tell you about what save Jace. Save me! Jace, save me! We're dying here! Wait, what the hell is this? They're playing Jeskai Lumamancer. Okay. And they have to have a spell to oh my god. 
Sorry, I was looking up uh, Lumbering Battlement. Oh, good job, Roy. Oh my god, why? I mean, I guess they're not playing the Stormwing unless they have another free spell. Oh, look, another free spell. Oh my god, bullshit. Oh, mutagenic growth targets your opponent's crap. <sighs> nope. I guess we could play threads in this matchup. Actually, we probably should. I I don't believe it. God damn, Phyrexian mana just keeps rearing its ugly head. Such a pain in the ass. Three CMC Jace is probably the weakest link. Maybe it needs to just be another Walker. I mean, in my list it was um, Tamio, and Tamio synergizes really, really, really well with time walks. So that that was that. I mean, there wasn't. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, well, that's yeah. I just said that. Like, it it synergizes with the the time warps, specifically. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Narset, Tamio, Three Fairy. Well, I mean, you're not playing Three Fairy in a team or deck. Uh, Narset was in the sideboard. I was asked to cut it, unless you're talking about the Jeskai Narset or the Blue White Narset, in which case this deck is still not playing white. So, um, all right, this is this is the hand, I guess. It's not what we came here to do, but but we might win this way, so I'll take it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I just don't know about Primal Surge. Like, it's just, I don't know, this, this whole, this whole, I mean, maybe it's just the split of this league, you know? Like, it's just, we've just gotten stomped on. Like, I don't, make, it's not necessarily, we, we've won games in most of these matches. We didn't win against Etron, but they ripped double all this dust in game one. And they had a perfectly timed all his dust in game two. So. Well, it's not even better. Like, it's not even as good as Obliterate, right? Like, cause, because it makes your deck so restrictive. I cast the Obliterate in the version I was playing. I cast it. I cast the Obliterate. Yeah, yeah. And we've been facing a lot of, a lot of brutal decks. But like I don't know, I, I Primal Surge is so restrictive. Like it makes like I was able to play Lightning Bolt instead of Stomp, and I think that was a big deal. Um, I was able to sideboard Veil of Summer instead of everything being terrible. <laughs> like if the combo in this deck was better, then you could get away with needing to play bad cards to enable it. But the, the combo is terrible. So you want to play the best cards you can to enable it, I think. Um, I like this deck. It's very clever, but this is like a very clever 05 deck at FNM, not a very clever like 2-3 deck. Which I love this deck for being the kind of deck that people like Aspiring Spike basically never build. Because it just doesn't have a chance. Like, it doesn't. It's just playing way too many bad cards. On the premise of other cards. But, yeah. Right, exactly. Well, and even that is really sketchy, right?
And like the theory with this deck when I was playing it, or when I was looking at it, Spike played that with Surge. What? Spell shift? Yeah, but he stopped pretty quickly. Because I don't remember him doing it, so he must have stopped fairly quickly. Oh, the donation deck. Yeah, I mean, but that doesn't count as him, like, like building it. And I'm not saying... I'm not saying that everyone should build decks like Aspiring Spike Ship. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you look at the way someone like Spike builds it, he builds things to be competitive always. He's not building decks that he's comfortable going like 04, 05 with. It's always built in a intentionally competitive way with cards that are... All right, hold on. We left in the Primal Surge. We left in the Primal Surge because Mina's going to eight and I have a blocker. They bolted me. That's not a good sign. This is a terrifying, terrifying turn of events. Wait a minute. If they, <laughs> if they have a way to bounce the threads, they don't need to kill the creature. Oh, I have a Brazen Borer, though. They have a Lavadar, so that doesn't matter. Bottom this. Tapped. I mean, we might get there. We could do it. We could do it. Come on, little deck. I need this one. I need it. I need it. You can do it, you little dickens. Come on. That's not going upstairs. That better not... Good lord, you better not just kill me with burn. I'm gonna be so pissed. Boroth Charm. Oh, Lavadart, and they have... Yeah, yeah, they have the Lavadart in their graveyard, plus the Lav this is going in their graveyard. What nonsense. Just, just no shot. We, how is it that the performance has gotten worse over time? <laughs> we played against the Etron and the and a Jeskai um, Lumamancer prowess deck. <laughs> oh, expensive to build in paper. I guess it's just the mana base, huh? So you have five cards that function as one mana spells, one mana instance and sorceries, and then another eight that function as um two mana instance and sorcery so your combo costs five or six that that's that's a cool deck yeah i mean it's just expensive be mostly because of the the mana base yeah yes yeah, so spell shift i mean spell shift is a lot more you know but that's why if you look at the deck I built before, like I put in as many cards where I was like, I can cast this, I can cast this. And like, the yeah, I know it is. I know, I know spell shift is, is uh, cause you, you, you've mentioned it enough times, but I, um, <clears throat> the, um, with, with the previous deck, I was like, man, I really should, um, zombie. Maybe we get a match here. Maybe we get to play some magic here. Um, I you don't want to say words. I want to say words. Words are what I want to say. Um, I lost the thread. I want to say, nope, it's gone. Oh, with the the teamer, uh, I'll talk about it at the end. Let's focus on the game.
Right. I mean, having a potential combo in this matchup might be a lot better than the other ones we've played so far. Like, a lot better. So, let's try to pay attention to that fact. Um, I think this turn I play Kazmina. Make a 3-3. Three, three. And scry. Well, like, in the other deck, too, I had multiple other powerful angles of attack, like, and I, I mean, not to, you know, but um, Boom Bust with Acceleration and Fetch Lands, which you were already incentivized to play, was fantastic. And the fact that Boom was an Armageddon um, paired up with Ren and Six perfectly. And on top of that, it also paired up with Obliterate. Like, like there was, like, all these different layers where it's like, we didn't... Seriously? You have a wonder... I mean, at least they're killing the Ren and Six, which I actually care less about than the Kazmina. I'm really annoyed they had a freaking one drop. Um, but I at least know what they're up to. This is going to be the uh, Pyre of Heroes Zombies deck. For sure. What, uh, what, what are you talking about? Of course you do. But you also, like, you need those to fight combo decks. You need those to, um, what, what do I want to say? Um, well, may, uh, this is probably just because, jeez. Um, this is just because I was listening to that episode of Everyday Eternal the other day. But um, it's zombies. They always have the one drop. <laughs> what? What? What one drop do they normally play? Uh, I was just listening to the... Uh, the most wait what oh it has death touch but it doesn't give them death touch weird um you yeah that's fine uh, <clears throat> you want to um play a deck that has a chance of getting lucky and when i say that is this good yeah, this is fine when I say that, I mean, like, illegal... Bl Wait, what? Oh, it has Menace! Oh my god, I didn't I didn't remember that. It doesn't look scary. Alright. Interesting. Okay, well, we have Stomp and Petty Theft, so we're okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you might actually get to this doubling season in this game. That's what's really exciting about this matchup to me. Oh, I should fetch. You don't have to look scary to be menacing? Well, sure, but the only way it has to be menacing is to convey... Even in the matches you flooded so hard, you really had DCs when you need it most. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. They're just getting beaten by the variance bat way too hard. Is that yeah? Oh yeah. It. I mean, it definitely has more synergy than um, Oath of Teferi. I'm not going to argue that because Oath of Teferi is just not that good of a card. I mean, doubling season is much much more powerful, but doubling season. Um, doubling season wasn't the right call. Maybe I should play Bant with the doubling season. I should play Bant with the doubling season. Also, holy crap, it's Antifa Lockhart. You are one of the most chatty people in Aspiring Sparks channel. Welcome, welcome. I have known your existence for many moons. Yeah, for CMC, Teferi was insane with Oath. We could also play Oath and um, doubling season if we play 80 cards. Sorry, I don't mean to draw too much attention to you if you are trying to hang out incognito or whatever. Yes, but it was based on a good deck of mine. What is happening? Oh, they're, they're cycling the messenger for damage and draw. Sure. Holy crap. I'm not dead, am I? Oh boy. 
Uh, I'm close to dead. This is a lot of damage coming in. Oh, but I can kill the captain. Let's get that done. I did not realize. We lose the Bone Crusher here because the Carrion Feeder is going to eat it up, but that's okay. This is not the end of the world. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. They don't have a second one, do they? I mean, I have the, I have the Petty Theft, so it's fine. Wait, what? Why? Oh, I see. Jesus, come on. What is that? So much damage. But not as much as it was about to be. No, no, I'm way closer than I was about to be. Oh, I could have um, bounced the feeder in response to that. And then they would have felt pressured to... Yeah, yeah. Jesus, what a synergy deck. I mean, we could bounce the feeder after this goes down. Like, after they sack to it. Because Undead Augur is only a 3-3, so it's not getting any bigger. So, Fractal can beat up the um, the Augur if they want to attack with it. Yeah, so we're okay here, but like, holy crap, they got a lot out, more out of that turn than I was expecting them to. Yikes. And, like, we can't play Anger of the Gods or anything useful on our sideboard for things like this. Oof. More? Gee. Oh, my God. What? Oh. <laughs> I, there's, there's nothing I can do, man. We're not getting anything, man. We're, we're they're, everything's gonna die. We can't defend them. They, well, they had double draw messenger at end step and then untap. I should have gotten into this fight at my end end step. I just wasn't expecting them to have this level of insanity. That that was crazy. No, I can't. No, I'm not making anything, dude. Everything it's gonna die. They're gonna die. I mean, they're not. But you should bounce the Menace guy. If they untap with it, they get to reanimate them. I, I can't, I don't, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but like, it doesn't, I, <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. We're going to be too dead. Yeah, we can make four two twos, but it's really pathetic, dude. Two six sixes? What? Can I? Oh, you're assuming they were going to kill. No, I can't make anything. Nope. Can't make anything. Just dead. No, because the other one doesn't keep the fractal generation ability. <laughs> they killed the right one. <laughs> oh my god. Just just no hope. Just completely annihilated. On the plus side, we have a sweeper we can play. Yeah. Man, I that was like the perfect draw. We had like the perfect draw and it was just pathetic compared to zombie tribal. Jesus. I I I don't even know what to do with that. Uh, not even though, right? We were multiple turns away from doing anything particularly significant. Like at least two turns away from doing anything big. The zombies are coming. Nope. There we go. No, I don't I don't need birds and arbor elf with this hand. Uh, just deck, uh, Janice. Just exclamation point deck. You've caught us at the final match with this deck, and we are currently 0-1 uh, in the match, 0-4 in the league. I've been on the draw notoriously often. Yeah, I guess so. 
I don't know why. Is it whispering? I think it's whispering. Hopefully you got it, Jan. Yan. Yan. Giannis. No deck for you. Oh, no, the stream decker bot must have just left. Hold on. I... I don't know why it randomly does that. It's really frustrating. Like, a no... It's not predictable. It just does it all the time. Just, just like... Just like every now and then it's like, nah, I'm not doing my jab. I'm not doing my jab. Nah, not today. Wish I could do that. Make sure you grab Triome here. Why? I only have four mana this turn. Why not just have an MTG bot command? I don't know that that's something you can do four dogs in a horse suit. I'm sure it is. I just don't know that it is or how to do it. I'm sure that it is the thing I could be doing, but I, I don't know how. Okay, th this time they didn't have the one drop at end of turn. <laughs> it's exactly what four dogs in our suit would say. No, but but it, it changes all the time, though, right? Like, it, it changes every time I, I change decks. So it, it won't keep up, right? Could EOT Borrower up if you triumphed into Elf Untap and Ren? Uh, I don't, I'm not. You mean borrow without casting the petty theft? I don't, why I don't want to use borrower without casting petty theft in this matchup though. Petty theft is a big deal. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could, I could set up that command. I could set up that command anytime. What? Okay. My zombie opponent just played Counter Squall. Wow. I I don't even know what to say to that. That's wow. That's real flipping good, I guess. Well played. I guess they won't have it for Chandra now, so hooray? Okay, that's good. So we get an island. No, 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 no. The, the zombie pyre deck, if this is a pyre deck, and it should be, um, if, if their deck is playing pyre of heroes, the deck is pretty good, dude. I played against it before. It's it's not a joke. It's quite good. It grinds like, uh, no pyre, it's too slow in this meta. I just don't believe that someone would bother registering a zombie deck in modern without playing pyre. It's just too neat. How could you do that? Like, Soul Diviner is awesome. So this combos with Aether Vial they can draw every turn. <laughs> Damn it. The freaking Aether Vial is just stomping us. It's just not, not reasonable. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Why not? I need to hit uh, doubling season like into big Chandra. No, I, I mean, I agree with you, Antifa, but I, I don't think that's the point of playing zombies in modern. Like, I don't... <laughs> I think it's for... Like, I, I would play zombies in modern for the games where you do get to do pyre stuff, not for the ones where you don't, because if you're playing the one for playing it for the ones where you don't, I mean, I can't imagine just not playing a better deck. But I guess there are the people who are like diehard tribal fans who are like, I'll do whatever it takes to make this 
Like, as long as it appears as a tribal deck. And maybe it's sweeter than I think it is, because I'm getting my butt handed to me by it, so... Maybe I'm just thinking badly. I wouldn't be surprised. I did play against goblins earlier, and they seem to not be playing Pyre. So, maybe it's just people getting on board with the fact that I said Pyre was always bad, and... Like, people were, were all about the Pyre. I was seeing it everywhere, and it was really sweet, and it was occasionally awesome. But I don't play Heliod or um, Prowess, so I'm not the person who was handing out death to them. <sighs> Tap Relic? I mean... It, I will, but I mean, it's not, it's not going to do anything at the moment. They're just attacking me. Damn it. Why? What, kill the Ren and Six. You're supposed to kill the Ren and Six. You're supposed to be bad and attack the Ren and Six. I wanted to block the Grolf's Messenger, but it's fine. Probably going to lose anyway. Okay. Oh, I could have exiled in a response there. They're probably expecting me to. Oh, they get. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Soul Diviner plus Carrion Feeder is another synergy I've never seen before out of that deck. It's it's interesting. It's something to say the least. I don't know what I have as an out anymore, but I'm going to crack this relic to draw. I have one Jace in the deck. So if I do drew doubling season into Jace there, or Jace into doubling season, whatever, um, that would have been pretty... Oh my god, Soul Diviner's removing counters from Girl's Messenger. And I should have... Yeah, we're dead because I didn't... Well, they don't have another land, so I can bounce the Messenger at least. And then if they... If they draw the land, they draw the land. I mean, I can't, can't stop that from happening. Oh, but they can sack it in response now, and I don't have the relic. All right, no, not, nothing matters. We 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 got crushed. I I I I am too tired, and I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, their all their synergies were too good and sweet. I, if I had, if I was in a better mental state to do, what's the menace zombie called? A uh, relentless dead. Yeah, I mean, we just got bulldozed by them in game one, and it wasn't close because they were dropping everything in off the Aether Vial uh, at, at the right times. Yeah. I... So, let's compare this to these other decks. This one's playing Teferi, so this isn't a really a fair comparison. But this has 12 pieces of acceleration... Path to Exile is the removal. Relentless Dead is the small one. Plague Belcher is the big one. Oh, 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 of Menace Zombies. Right, right, right. Well, I'm sure there's a bigger Menace Zombie than that, right? Plague Belcher is awesome, though. Um, well, it's not it's not the one CMC removal that's the only thing that matters because this one's also playing Teferi, so this one's on a totally different, um, totally different level. Um, probably start by swapping Primal Surge for Enter the Infinite, right? But then you need to be able to uh, cast the thing afterwards. Although I guess maybe that doesn't matter. Um, but if you compare it to this deck. Um, my doubling season is time warp and while it's not obviously as powerful, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not obviously as powerful as, as having doubling season. You can have stuff in play and it's going to make them all do good, better stuff. Um, good more better stuff stuff better good good stuff make um which 
is a big deal. Plus, Tamio synergizes with it. Uh, I, I mentioned already Ren and Six plus Boom Bust or Obliterate. And maybe this deck is just as bad as the one we just played. M maybe it is. Maybe we just did, really did get that unlucky. Um, we definitely didn't have like a lot of like really great hands or anything like that. But this deck had um, Boom Bust, which allowed us to put pressure on people's mana in addition to the Lightning Bolt being cheap interaction. Um, Teferi Master of Time was good in both the other decks I was playing. Not insane, but good. Um, Shadow Torch of Defiance is definitely quite strong. But this one, I, I could have cut the Enter the Infinite and the Jace happily. And I think I would if I played it again. Yeah, oh yeah, Boom Bust is awesome. Because if you accelerate on one... Yeah, if you accelerate on one and you have a fetch land on two, you can just get a free two mana stone rain, which I guess is as good as getting a free three mana stone rain or a turn two three mana stone rain, except it's not because it is the split mode. Um, and that's the selling point of Boom Bust to me is that early game, it's disruption against all sorts of good decks. Um, Heliod and Tron, uh, even control decks have to counter it or like they might be in a really bad spot. And... Then it's Armageddon later, which is <laughs> kind of hot. Uh, and then eight mana for Obliterate, which is uncounterable, is a lot safer than Primal Surge, which is 10 mana and not. Split mode of you have some walkers, all of a sudden, all his dust isn't a thing, is nice. Yeah, exactly. So, also this card. Oh my god, it's so bad. I get that it's an infinite combo with doubling season, but we, we weren't even like really close to doing it ever. And the one time I was, it was unfortunately already in play, so I I couldn't do it. Yeah, 6 CMC Chandra wins most of the uncounterable is relevant matchup. Yeah, but Obliterate gets to be in the main deck. Um I I uh... I don't know that Chandra would do that. If they have um, Teferi 5 or whatever. I mean, I guess you have to attack it down. Yeah. I mean, may maybe um, Teferi... Why no Oath of Nyssa? It's just not necessary. Oath of Nyssa takes up space. It's a cantrip, but it doesn't accelerate you. You don't need it to fix your colors ever. So, and we're not playing Urian or any way to synergize with it. I don't think Oath of Nyssa is a card you should just play just because you can. You need to have a reason to do so. For like, for example, in Pioneer Oath of Nyssa, you haven't lost to a slow control matchup and you've played four. Okay. I, I mean, I can believe you. I can believe you. I just like having, I like having the Obliterate in the main deck as the payoff for the minus eight from Ren and Six or, or Chandra. But that's really more as like making sure I have a sweet thing to do with Kazmina. And to be perfectly honest, Maybe the better version of this deck doesn't play Kazmina or Obliterate, right? Because, like, or or the, uh, I already cut the Jace, right? So, like, maybe it's just, like, Teamer Boomwalk. Because that's basically what I played. Ulting and obliterating isn't going to work versus Luris control mid-range either. Minus three Jace plus some land destruction main avalanche riders. I mean, if you're going to play... If you're going to play something, I would probably just play uh, Pillage or Stone Rain. Something you can play on two, not something you have to play on four. Unless, unless you want it to be permanence. Then yeah, you can play avalanche riders in the Surge deck. But I do think if you want to play Doubling Season, you should play it in a Bant version. And then probably you could cut the Oath of Teferi. But you could still play the 3-drop Jace if you want to. Um, so like this deck, you could cut the Body of Research because that never did anything. Get the fourth time warp in here and play two doubling seasons.
doubling season's not no, but doubling season doesn't double things when you're plussing in my and I don't like this card with planeswalkers as much as other people seem to because you have to play the planeswalker afterwards after you play your five mana do nothing like I, I'm just that's not my kind of card man I don't I don't know if I can get behind doubling season at all it seems sweet until you realize like all the problems it has it's a lot of problems dude it's really just a Kazmina card yeah but Oath is also a Kazmina card, right? Chandra Acolyte works with doubling season. Yeah, her, her zero. Yeah, that adds a, adds a loyalty to each red Planeswalker you control. Acolyte of Flame? Yeah. Yeah, each red planeswalker you control. No, 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 no. No, no, no. The 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 her plus ability is actually a zero cost that adds a, a loyalty to each red planeswalker you control. But it it's not yeah. I mean it it gets your Ren and Six and your Chandra Torture Defiance and your Chandra Emulating Inferno. Or whatever the big Chandra is called. Um but yeah, I don't know if that's good enough. But this this version was super sweet. Um, I would be happy to play this again at some point. Oh, uh, Mord, you missed us 0-5-ing. You want cards that interact with the board? What the hell, Gideon, is that? Champion of Justice. Oh, I see. That's a really bad Gideon, dude. That Gideon is pretty awful. I kind of want to play this with one, like, one doubling season. Maybe two? No. Well, what? All right, let's let's copy this one. Let's copy this one and go. Uh, first, before I get into any of this, if you were joining me up to this point, this is going to be the end of the YouTube video. Make sure you like this but this this video. Smash that subscription button and stay tuned for nonsense. I want to thank J.K. Torborg for donating his completely bonkers version of the Teamer Casmina list. Just because we 05 doesn't mean you can't improve it out there. Doesn't mean it won't be a great match for you or a great deck for you to play at your LGS. Um, the Moto Q's Magic Online is brutally, brutally high skill level. Um, and uh, most of the decks we played against were kind of like top tier. Um, so we, we, and we took games off of a bunch of them. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff um in there so check it out if you want to for everyone who's hanging out live uh blue white box all right um so what if we go 80 cards with this deck uh so i'll get the full 12 fetches maybe we'll even get in some prismatic vistas i don't know um fix the lands in a second so okay okay fine if someone wanted doubling season they said we have to play two <laughs> and we play four, we have to play eight, right? Four oath, four D season. No, I I, I don't want to play multiple oath. Oath is already kind of bad. I don't want to play multiple oath. So this is going to make our sideboarding a bunch worse, but I'll worry about that later. The problem is this is going to heavily, heavily, heavily dilute. The 
dilute the rest of our game plan. Well, let's get some tunes on because I'm probably going to play um, a little bit of the Breach deck. Uh, so song requests are open. Use exclamation point SR in the chat to get your song requests in. That's a good song, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. We need the fourth noble. I, I don't, I don't want to play any more of that. Those cards, dude. I, I'm going to 80 cards to squeeze in the number I'm putting in. I don't, I really don't want to play more of these cards. Yes, 3 out of 80. I was playing 2 out of 60 before and it was too many. 1 was right, but 2 was, was, was messing with that. But... You know what I want to play in this deck, though? I want to play a time stretch. I don't want to play a time stretch. Just one. Oh, five berry for sure. What am I doing? Um, oh, what about Karn's Temporal Sundering? <laughs> this doesn't exile itself. Oh, it does exile itself. I don't, I don't want to play any time walks that exile themselves. That's bullshit. Michaelith? I don't know what a Michaelith is. Devour fungus. Yeah, that doesn't help. Like a lot. Okay. No. 